Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be I'm Marie from Southern Country Living, and I hope y'all all are having a really good Merry Christmas. And uh, we also want to wish you a Happy New Year. And the, the cake that I'm making today, I'm making to carry over to my daughter's house. Um, she's having a get together. Uh, let's see, it's Friday night, and so I'm supposed to make a cake and some pimento cheese spread. And um, let's see, there was one other thing that I was supposed to make. Kevin, help me out on it. Oh, uh, broccoli cheddar oh, soup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> broccoli cheddar soup. And uh, y'all bear with me. This is the first time I've filmed in a long time. <laughs> so I may be a little bit rusty. But anyway, um, I think that all of the food's going to turn out good. I'm hoping so anyway. <laughs> and the uh, soup that I'm making is called... Uh, a copycat uh, Pranera soup. It's the broccoli soup. And so um, we ate some just the other day, and my granddaughter really wanted me to make that. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and so um, the icing that I'm putting on this cake, I'm doing it a little bit different than I normally make my uh, seven minute frosting icing. But I wanted to try it out and see how it. Uh, goes and so uh, I'll be doing that in uh, part of the video also and so let me just get uh, started on this quick and easy and simple box cake mix. <laughs> also in one of the videos that we posted uh, recently, it was my uh, granddaughter's wedding, I had on a, a wig, you know, and a uh, uh, this is another one. I wear them sometimes in the winter and sometimes in the summer if it's not too hot. But um, So I have mine on today, so it's not my hair. I wish that my hair would do this and was this full, <laughs> but it's not. But uh, I have real thin hair, and uh, that's because I had uh, radiation and chemo, and it just never did thicken back up. So sometimes I do wear wigs. <laughs> so. Uh, some people were commenting on how they really liked my hair, and so um, I just wanted to give you a heads up on what's going on with my hair. So let me get started on my recipes. All right, I'm using a German chocolate Super Morse Betty Crocker cake mix, and so I'm just going to empty it in my bowl, and I'm following the uh, recipe for the cake mix on the back of the box. Now then I'm going to be adding in one and one-fourth cup of water. And I'm going to be adding in one half cup of vegetable oil. And then I'm going to be adding in my eggs one at a time. And I'm going to beat this for about two to three minutes just till all of it is uh, incorporated. Now then I'm going to add in my first egg. Now then I'm going to be adding my second egg. Now 
And now my last egg. And uh, if you don't like uh, box cake mixes, you can uh, always make your own, but I'm doing this fast and easy today. So I'm going to try to get these cake layers even. have my uh, cake batter in my uh, cake pan, so I'm going to be cooking this at uh, 350 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And when my cakes are cooled off, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to start making my pimento cheese um, spread for my uh, sandwiches that I'm carrying over to my daughter's house. And I'm going to use this whole thing of, uh, it's 16 ounces of our sharp cheddar cheese. So okay, I think this right here is going to be enough. So I'll uh, let me get over here and get the rest of my ingredients to yeah, put together in my pimento cheese spread. And this was a whole um, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. So I'm going to just use my hands and put this in here. And my hands are good and clean. <laughs> a cup of mayonnaise in uh, and if it looks like it needs more I will add some more and I'm putting in a whole uh, eight ounces of cream cheese And one fourth cup of pimentos. And this is one fourth teaspoon of uh, garlic salt. And I'm putting in um, one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, I'm going to raise this up just for a second and 
and scrape this down. give this a taste like quick and see if I need to add some more mayonnaise. I believe I will add just a little bit more mayonnaise. <laughs> I think that it has enough mayonnaise in it now. My cameraman tasted of it and he said it tasted really good. But I am going to put this little bit of pepper flakes in it. It's optional. You do not have to put that in there if you don't want to. Also, if you don't like the taste of uh, cream cheese, you could leave it out or you could also just uh, use four ounces of the cream cheese. But I put, I followed the recipe and I put all of the cream cheese in and I'll, I think it tasted great, don't you, Calvin? I do. My pimento cheese is done, so I'm going to put it in a airtight container and store it in the refrigerator until I make my sandwiches tomorrow. And you don't think that it needs more mayonnaise or anything? I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to taste of it. Pretty good. All right, I'm going to make my white powdered sugar icing now. Um, my cakes have cooled off, and so the first thing I'm going to do is put in three sticks of butter. And these are, have been sitting out at room temperature. Scrape down the sides. Okay. 
And then I'm going to be adding in, this is eight cups of uh, powdered sugar, and I'm going to be adding in uh, about two to three cups at a time. I'm going to add in three more cups. Now then I'm going to add just a little coconut into my frosting. Too thick, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk. All right, my icing is done now. So I'm going to um, get this put in a bowl and frost my cake. Okay, I'm getting ready to. Uh, Frost my cake in this white powdered sugar frosting is delicious, wasn't it, Calvin? Uh, yes, you I, really, it. I really loved it. Yes, it was very tasty. I think this is going to be my go-to icing all the time. It, it is so good. So now then I'm going to put on the top layer. Let's see. This. Okay.
I'm just sprinkling some coconut on top because I have some coconut in the icing. All right, I've finished my cake now and I have my coconut on top and tomorrow I'm going to be making uh, broccoli cheddar soup and uh, I'm going to make it tomorrow to carry over my um, daughter's house and so I'll be back tomorrow to show you how to do that. Hi everyone, I hope everyone is having a great day today. I know it's cold all over our nation today and it's a little warmer down here than probably a lot of you are experiencing up north but this is really cold for us but uh, yesterday I made a uh, pimento cheese and I also made a really good cake and they both turned out really good so today I'm making a uh, broccoli cheddar soup to carry over to uh, my daughter's house tonight it's our Christmas party and so uh, this actually is Kevin's favorite soup <laughs> and uh, he really when he had his uh, health issues he was eating a lot of soup and he really enjoyed this one and so I'm making this especially for him to be able to eat over at the party tonight so uh, let me get over here to my stove and get started all right I'm doubling my recipe today and so I'm putting in two tablespoons of melted butter and I've already got it melted in my pot and so now I'm going to add in one medium onion okay I'm gonna let these onions saute until they get translucent okay my onion is translucent now so now I'm gonna put in a stick of butter and let that melt. And I'm cooking this on medium heat. Do you know what it's actually supposed to get down to here in Georgia today? Our temperature right now is 17 degrees. Mm. And that's our high temperature for today. But tonight it's going down to 10. That still probably feels like summertime to some of the people in our nation. <laughs> yeah, I heard someone from Chicago. I believe they say it was minus 5 up there. Oh my goodness. Well, this soup will really be good tonight. I'm over there at my daughter's house yeah, in this cold weather. I think also someone is going to bring chili, and then we're going to have sandwiches, and I don't know what all we're going to have, but we'll have fun, won't we? That's the main thing. We get to be with family. Yeah. yeah. Celebrate. Celebrate the birth of Christ. Okay, now then my butter has melted, and so now I'm going to add in a half a cup of flour. Flour. I'm going to cook this till about maybe three minutes. I like get the flour taste out of it. <laughs> okay. Um, Kevin.
oven, would you pour that um, half and half in slowly for me while I stir this, uh, if you don't mind? I sure will, Marie. <laughs> This is four cups. It's nice to have a heifer in the kitchen. I'll let you steer that a little bit before I pour the rest in. It's so much easier. Okay, you ready for all of it? I think so. Okay. I think that's smoothed out now. You can pour in the chicken stock for me and I'll continue to stir. I'm going to add in my carrots. And since we doubled it, it's two carrots. Yeah. You chopped them up real small, didn't you, right? Yeah. I don't, some people like chunky um, broccoli cheddar soup, but I like mine like I get it at Paneros. Paneros. <laughs> you want to stir this for me while I put this broccoli in? That way it won't splash up on me. Okay, my broccoli cheddar soup has come up to a boil now, so I'm going to turn it to a medium simmer and let it cook for about 25 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, my soup has been simmering for 25 minutes now, so I'm going to turn off the eye, or the burner, <laughs> and And then I'm going to add my spices. I have um, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and salt, and you can salt and pepper it to your taste. Just put that in and stir that up. Marie, that sure does smell good. Okay, I have this all stirred up now. All right, I'm gonna add four cups of cheese and stir it till it melts. <laughs> really does smell good, doesn't it, Calvin? It sure does, Marie. It looks, um, looks good, too. Yesterday, I wore my apron that had my uh, chickens on it that one of my uh, subscribers um, sent to me. And so today, I have also the same person. She sent me two of them, and then this is the one I'm wearing today. And I sure do like them, and I really appreciate it. And so thank you very much. Mm, 
that looks really good and creamy. Okay, I have this all stirred up right now. And so what I'm going to do to transport it today is I'm going to put it in my crock pot and keep it on warm until we uh, head over to my daughter's house. And um, I think what I'm going to do is get one little spoonful and let it cool and taste it and see how I like it. I'm going to wait till this cools though. <laughs> That is really delicious. I really like it. So I think they are all going to really enjoy it too. It looks just like pr pr I never can pronounce pr say it for me, Calvin. Panera bread. <laughs> Panera. Okay, it tastes just like it. Maybe just a teeny bit better. <laughs> but anyway, it's really good. And so uh, I guess we're going to close out this video, but um, I'm, we're not going to film over at my daughter's house tonight. We want to go over there and enjoy ourselves and just um, not film over there tonight. And so I tasted the soup for you and it's really good. And if y'all make it, I know you're going to like it. And so, like I said, I'm going to close it out, the video out now. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And y'all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me.